Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here. So uh, it is uh, the day after Thanksgiving. Boy, it seems like we make a lot of videos. But I'm back at my shop um, playing catch up. Uh, I think we're gonna have a little, little more time, a couple more weeks of uh, of free time to work on cars. So I'm trying to get as much done as I possibly can. So I need to get this thing out of here. Fry burger is disgusting. Figured I'd give you guys the once over on um, how I'm installing it, my strategy on this. Um, a couple things, David Freiberg is a little bit particular about the way his cars are put together, which is kind of strange considering I've seen some of the wiring he's done. But I know mechanically this thing is solid and uh, I have a basic uh, idea of how he likes things done. So I try to uh, adhere to those uh, rules of not drilling any extra holes in this car, um, not using tech screws or any cheats like that. I try to keep it all uh, legitimate. I'm used to doing stuff kind of, you know, get it done, get it quick, get it on the road. So some shortcuts are taken, but uh, yeah, I can't really take shortcuts on this. So I'm running the main lighting harness through the factory hole right down there next to the master cylinder, which is just above where the hydraulic clutch control is. And the weird thing about Ford, the way they do stuff is you have one hole there and one hole right there. You can kind of see it. They're right next to each other, but they're actually on either side of the pedal. So that is the engine control harness. Um, basically ignition 12 volts, uh, any gauges or uh, whatever. And also the stuff, the wires that would go for the charging system down to the starter motor and uh, to the starter solenoid and power supply to go back into the car to run the whole car. So they run that across the motor. Um, I'm gonna be changing a couple of that, those, but something similar. And this is the lighting harness. So which uh, the light blue, dark blue, they go to, they would plug into the indicators that would be on the hood, um, which this car doesn't have, but I'm gonna leave the provisions here just because you don't wanna have to cut up a wiring harness just because you decide to add something later. I run a couple of extra provision wires, uh, electric fan, a couple different gauges, um, a couple different trigger wires, but then they're going to come forward. I'm going to put all that in heat shrink and then wrap it in the, uh, the wire braid. Um, that way it's weatherproof and, and it still looks nice. Um, he has line lock right there or roll control. So I need to run that back in through that harness. Also too, this thing, um, has the original harnesses for the headlights. So if he decides to change any of that, I don't want him having to cut into my wiring or change anything. So what I'm going to do is solder stock plug-ins to my harness, which means if he decides to change any of this or disassemble it for whatever reason, um, he ran into something or he's changing the grill or, or adding something, he could just unplug it just like factory. And it will look relatively factory in the front. Uh, on the inside, this thing used to have a harness, or I'm sorry, a fuse box that looks like this it, it just does uh, some glass fuse is very simple this is all actually in pretty decent shape there's some corrosion there because this thing sat around for a long time full of disgusting stuff so uh the new harness i'm sorry the new fuse box which you will be able to see right there is uh takes an ATC blade fuse. Um, I don't know if I... Yeah, I think you can kind of see it. Um, so it's mounted to the firewall in the stock location using one of the stock holes. And then the stock harness will be secured to the firewall while I'm under here, I'm going to put a little more dynamat in this thing, seal it up a little bit more, and uh, also put a boot, I think, around that clutch pedal and cover up the hole right there where the old gauges used to go through because I'm going to recommend. Well, actually, we're putting all Dakota Digital, so it'll be electronic gauges in this thing now. So that will be kind of neat. Cool thing about the American Auto Wire is they take into consideration, uh, you know, stock locations of stuff. So this will all be secured up here. And then this is going to go to the instrument cluster. Actually, both these instrument cluster, they give you an auxiliary plug, which is pretty neat. 
this isn't you don't find this in other kits but uh if you decide to add power windows or power door locks or something like that they give you a plug with part of the molex right there and all the pins to add it later make everything still plug in and unplug this looks like it is a the rear harness so it's a separate rear harness which will be going right down in the corner and then stock style uh, ignition switch and a wiper control switch so that's pretty cool and then the uh, headlight switch which is pretty neat. that is also factory and Another cool thing is you can actually use, uh, or the kit comes with a new ignition switch and a new headlight switch. So here is an original ignition switch, and here is the replacement ignition switch. I've already taken the time to clean up all the stainless or all the chrome work, and uh, that's a little indicator which uh, makes it illuminate. And same with the wiper switch, a dimmer control switch, because it's a different style. This is a factory Ford, uh, one horizontal, two vertical, and this is all horizontal plugs. So they just changed that one thing. Uh, yeah, those with fuses, flashes, all that good stuff. And it also comes with a alternator main breaker, right there. Mega feasible links. We'll be installing those. Large gauge wires for the alternator, because that's actually really important. With the wrong gauge wire, it will overheat and undercharge. The over under of doing stuff wrong. Um, also, the pin switches in the doors on these is common that they break and they have a different size plug on them. The later model ones had a little bit of a larger plug. These guys include new pin switches. So, you spend the money on American Auto Wire and you get lots of stuff that you can't get elsewhere. Uh, these are plug-in underdash dome lights to hold uh, like 1156 or uh, single filament interior light bulbs, a little bit smaller diameter. But uh, yeah, so that's one thing that, uh, oh yeah, American Auto, I uh, did do the Detroit uh, Digital, I'm sorry, Dakota Digital. That's going to be another video altogether because it's quite a fiasco to convert everything. But once it gets all in there, it looks sweet. I did discover there was a little bit of rust in the hood hinge. I'm sorry, trunk, uh, glove box hinge. So half of these had broken. So I'm going to be uh, cleaning this thing up and blasting it, breaking those little tabs loose, and then TIG welding them back to the actual part that holds the glove box door. If you don't do that, it won't line up correctly when you go to close it. So that's important. Um, that's really about it. It's uh, important that if you have the stock harness, don't just snatch it out and throw it away. Uh, pull it all out and save it because there's a few things in here that don't come with some kits. Like uh, I want to say a couple of the indicator bulbs, uh, like illumination bulb for the uh, ashtray and the cigarette lighter and uh, ignition switch. Um, sometimes they're included, sometimes they're not. Um, there was a plug for the uh, brake switch under the hood, the brake uh, proportioning valve. On stock ones have a little indicator on the dash that says uh, you're low on brake fluid or you're having a brake failure and the light comes on. I like to have that stuff working. I think, is that it? No, it's not it. But uh, so there's that. And then like I said, the plugs, you cut them out of the stock harness, plug them into the factory harness, and then you're gonna solder and heat shrink that all together and uh, cover it up, make it look pretty. But um, yeah, pretty jazzed with the way this is turning out. That's the part number, just in case you're doing a 69 Ford Mustang, a 510-177. Um, it's all in there. Instrument cluster plug. Yep. Yeah, the next box I'm going to be opening is the Dakota Digital. It's pretty, pretty cool. There was two boxes. I was wondering what the other one was. It actually has a replacement clock for this dash. This is a replacement dash pad. And I installed it uh, when I did the AC on the car a while back. And uh, it 
It fit really nice. Only thing I was missing, I think there's supposed to be a little diffuser that goes on top right here. And uh, it's not here. I'm probably gonna clean these up a little bit. Looks like they were cut in a hurry. But uh, I think there's maybe two diffusers to drop in there and then bolt in, because I see little dimples where they may bolt in. But um, as I recall when I did this, yeah, so under dash light or map light right there. So this stuff I don't think comes with the kit. However, um, I will be saving it because I want to use the stock switch to make everything look like stock. Um, the people from Arc Audio, looks like they did a uh, center channel, which explains why this thing sounds so nice. And once again, they use a real high-end type plug. Wait, there's like a passenger in there. Uh, it's been a while, but I want to say... 4.7 microfarad capacitor, I believe, is what I used to use in tweeters a lot. I could be wrong, but uh, it sounds great inside the car. Um, that is the vent diffuser from decoded from a uh, vintage air. And uh, once I put the hoses on these, I usually take a screw and I'll run a screw just through a corner just to set it on there and uh, prevent it from coming loose because there's nothing worse than having a hose come loose and realize that every time we turn on the AC, it's blowing cold air on the windshield because the hose popped off and it's pointing here or, or you don't get cold air on the passenger side, something. So I don't like that. Alrighty, well, so anyway, that's the hoedown on this thing. Um, when I did the AC in this thing a long time ago, I was asked to remove all the wiring from the car because they were going to wire it themselves and then uh no time allowed and uh, i generally give customers back all their equipment so this is the old ac under dash unit and all the cables and hoses and lines and defrost and so on and so forth with i don't know what uh oh stock seat belts i don't know what he's going to do with them but uh yeah they're all dry ride. They've been sitting and feeding marmots for years. But, who knows? Maybe somebody wants them to restore. Oops. Left my key in the trunk. Alright, you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, as usual, uh, subscribe, tell a friend, uh, like, uh, share, and uh, leave a comment. Enjoy your comments. You guys have a happy and safe holiday season. I'll see you in another video real soon. Peace.